introduce some three amazing chicks. The band is on the hen house down on Foxer Farm. They've gained some height, now they've taken flight. They're gonna slow those foxes down. Now it's bombs away, no get away. And a victory almost every day. And no finer flying fouls around. So I says to this big sheep, I says, don't you push me around. <laughs> Whoops. Farmer's back. <laughs> Gotta jump up and down and go woof. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> down dog. <laughs> I bet you want to know what I've got under here, don't you, boy? Well, for years I've dreamt of winning a prize in the fancy livestock tent of the village fate. And for years I haven't. But there's an old farmyard saying, if you can't beat them, buy something that can beat them. So I did. <laughs> Will you look at that? A hen heart with central heating and air conditioning. Now that's what I call a champion hen. You mix and mingle, my little beauty. I'm off to prepare my winner speech. Welcome to Fox Earth Farm, sister. Put it there. I am not your sister. I am Mimsy Borogrove Brilly Gargimble the Third. But you can call me Blue. Blue? After all the ribbons I've won. Well, we're the Fox Busters. After all the foxes we've busted. And if there's anything you need, just ask. Oh, I doubt you've got anything I need. Perhaps you'd like to take a tour of my house. Hey! <laughs> Water wall deep pal, hey. Look at those leather porches. Tell me, what time do the cockerels crow around here? About five. Not anymore. Have them reset. I never rise before noon. Pedigree birds like us need our beauty sleep, don't we? Uh, uh, yes, I uh, suppose we do. Excuse me, uh, is it all right if I try the pool? Uh, be my guest. Wow! <laughs> you must lead an amazing life. Well, yes, I suppose I do. Living in the lap of luxury. Another good smoothie, my good man. Winning trophies and prizes. And the award for bravest fighter and best supporting chicken goes to... Sand! What's that horrible noise? Trouble. All right, girls, back to reality. We've got a job to do. Scramble! See you later, Blue. Yeah, Blue. Good boy. All right, girls. False alarm. Um, it wasn't a fox. It's just just a very pointy sheep. Wonderful. Now we can spend more time with the new hand. I think not, Ransom. We've just had a very timely reminder not to be distracted by fantasies of fame and fortune when reality might be sneaking up behind us with nasty sharp teeth. and poise, poise and balance. Walk forward, beak held high, back straight. Ooh, I feel so elegant. <laughs> Me too. Never forget, girls, if you look like somebody and act like somebody, pretty soon you'll be somebody too. They already are somebody. They're foxbusters and they ain't gonna waste any more time on this nonsense. They aren't. Aren't going to. Try it again. I'll have to get waste any more time. Good. Now let's try another one. Repeat after me. The grain in Spain tastes mainly rather plain. The grain in Spain tastes mainly rather plain. I don't like its spillers. Not one bit. Where would the army be if it spent all its time marching up and down with straight backs?
on the parade ground. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. And I feel we should all enter the contest at the Village Fate. Then we'll see who's really the fanciest chicken around here. Moi, of course. No, moi. Girls, girls, I can't tell you how flattered I am that you're thinking of competing. <laughs> I see it not only as a wonderful compliment, but also as a challenge. So, how would you all like a makeover? Good. Let's go to work. Ladies and gentlemen, chicks and chickens, they say that beauty is only hen deep. Well, today I'm going to prove that with a spot of paint and a dab of powder, a modicum of poise and a lorry load of attitude. Mm, I'm still not at all sure about this, Spillers. Why would they want to change? Oh, don't be such a square egg, husband. Let them have their fun. I give you the new look for Butters. Ha! Huh. I've heard of mutton dressed as lamb, but never chickens who look like turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, you can take the chicken out of the farmyard, but you can't take the farmyard out of the chicken. I am beautiful. And you, you can just dream on! <laughs> Ah, there you are. Time to win ourselves a prize. Yeah. Oh, you blooming kids! Painted my chickens again. Get scrubbed up, girls. It's time for your afternoon patrol. Don't oh. worry, dear. Foxes never go out of fashion. <laughs> Goes to this wonderful little girl who's come as a, a happy frog. <laughs> he's supposed to be Godzilla. Well, uh, in that case, I'm uh, sure he'll certainly enjoy the monster firework display that we have for you this evening. <clears throat> we really shouldn't be doing this, you know. You've been telling us that since we left the farm. Say the foxes try something because we're not out on patrol. Fine, then we'll deal with them. Right after we deal with Blue. Hold your applause. I just want you all to know that there is no shame in packing up and going home. <laughs> I mean, if I saw me, I wouldn't want to waste my time competing against me either. Where are you ruffians taking me? <laughs> We're going to have us a barbecue. I just love flame grilled chicken. Go push the button, Todd. Right. Go push the button. Uh... Oh, nope, that wasn't it. Somebody help me! I love my new doggy, but he doesn't seem to like going for walks. Ooh, pretty! Did you see that, doggy? Oh, dear me, the fireworks display seems to have started a little prematurely. Oh, well, perhaps we'll be able to see it all the better in the daylight. That's strange. Oh! Lux! Come on, we've got to save her! Why? Because we're heroes, and heroes do things like that. Come on! Good dog. Oh, 
and the first prize for least suitable water dwelling creature goes to Farmer Farmer for this uh, thing. <laughs>